NFL Daily rolling along here. Harrison Graham and Tom Downey here on Chat Sports. Today's show, oh boy, Jared Goff trade destinations. Let's get a little background info, Tom, and then we'll run through a few teams that could make some sense. Yeah, Rams went uh, surprised and said uh, he is a Ram right now. <laughs> and that was the most praise they offered Jared Goff. GM Les Snead did in his kind of postseason press conference thing, which is unusual because even if you're not the guy – Teams always say you are. Yes. Uh, they never are like, yeah, we're, yeah, for now. A at least publicly. Exactly. I, I can't remember the last time with, uh, where a guy who you just paid $100 million to a, a year later is, uh, he's on our roster for now. Like, yeah. wh what are we doing? When you made the playoffs technically this past year as well, it's yeah. just very unusual. You beat Russell Wilson in the first so round. So the, the Rams, if they trade him, save a little, almost $12.5 million. Okay. If a team trades for him, and this is what matters in the end, He's got four years left on his deal, and it's broken down in terms of cap hit like this, 27.85, 25-ish for two years, up to 26.5. With the way his base salary guarantees and some roster bonuses is, think of this deal as a two-year, 53 and change million dollar deal, 43 of which in change is guaranteed, and then a two-year team option for 51 million. Okay. So that's the way this contract breaks down. So if a team were to acquire Goff, They'd be paying him two years, $53 million in reality because it's not that sensible to move on from him with the way the guaranteed is set up. You kind of look at Goff recently too, Tom. In 2017, he really started to flash. That's when they are like, okay, this is our guy. 2018, a bit up and down, but took him to the Super Bowl. And it, there was a point where it was like, okay, Goff and McVay are going to revolutionize the NFL and the NFC. Mahomes and Reed are going to revolutionize the NFL yeah. and the AFC. One of those things happened. One of those things has happened. Since then, Goff's kind of been league average. I, I think a big reason why is that the offensive line is not as good as it was True. at the beginning of his career. And Goff and, is really uh, bad under pressure. Look, exactly. Look, 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 the completion percentage in the yards, and they played the exact same amount of games, by the way. Yep. It, pretty even. But the touchdowns have plummeted as the interceptions have gone up, yeah. and that adjusted yards per attempt. That is significant. That's a lot. He went from top a yard and a half. He went from top six in 2017 and 18 to bottom ten. That's concerning. That's a red flag. That, that that is a major drop, and as a result, shoot, Harrison, I don't know what you could get for him. So what is his trade value? I, you're not getting a first. I, a I don't think second. But, it, but, but if you get a second, this is why it's tricky here and why I'm not convinced Goff gets traded. Rams get a second. What are they doing at quarterback? Yeah. Because, like, Jared Goff I don't think is great, but he's better than some of the options out there. I, I mean, could you get Kyle Trask in round two? I mean, you're not. are you going to do that? The same player. <laughs> Worse, probably. I mean, I at, least, like at least we've seen Goff play well at times, whereas mm -hmm. Trask may never play well in the NFL. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think? What is Jared Goff's trade value? Before we get into our four teams that could trade for Jared Goff, subscribe to the channel because the latest NFL news and rumors, trade ideas, we're going to break it down right here on Chat Sports. It's youtube.com slash TV. All you got to do, hit that big red button and turn on those notifications because we're putting out videos every single day around the NFL. All right, at number four, Tom, how about the Houston Texans? The L.A. Rams would love to find a way <laughs> to trade Jared Goff and draft picks for Deshaun Watson. They would jump all over that in a heartbeat. It doesn't make sense for Houston. Then again, Houston's a mess right now. I mean, shit, they're interviewing Josh McCown to be their head coach, <laughs> which, like... Uh, they're giving David Culley a second I interview. am at the point of... Houston, I, the, I, 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 I can no longer say, oh, there's no chance, because there is. It, it, it's a disaster. I, I, Sorry, Houston I, fans. I still am in the camp of surely they wouldn't trade Watson to the Rams, considering the Rams don't have a first-round pick this year. But who knows, right? Like, everything is all bets are off when it comes to this franchise. It's bad. So where will Jared Goff play next season? Predict it in the comments. We'll make this the pinned comment on today's video. If you think it's the Texans, type them. I'm still going to type the Rams, but so we'll make too. this the pinned comment. Predict it for us. Where will Jared Goff play next season? How about the Indianapolis Colts? We have them at number three. They continue to be linked to quarterback. Yeah, look, Rivers is retired. Colts obviously need a quarterback. Kobe Brissett, the free agent, is not that good. You're drafting at a spot where, unless you're convinced it's Mac Jones – or you go up and get Trey Lance, probably Lance, as opposed to Zach Wilson or Justin Fields, you're not going to get a top quarterback. 
And it makes more sense to probably go after Matthew Stafford. Yeah. You still want to figure out your left tackle hole, but maybe the Colts talk themselves into, okay, let's go with Goff. And let's draft a tackle in the first round he's and younger, see if that works. He's younger, maybe he, you know, you can have him for longer. He wouldn't improves. advise it, but yeah, I, I mean, look, if the you can talk yourself into if it. If the Rams and McVay are in the camp of we feel like we've maximized golf, and that's Sean McVay. It's a red flag. I know Reich's a good offensive mind, but I'm not convinced he can do any better. So we'll just have to wait and see. We got the Colts at number three. We know they're getting a quarterback. Yeah. And we think it'll be an established guy, not not a rookie. So we had to throw him on the list. Maybe there's an outside chance it could happen. So pick a quarterback. You brought up Matthew Stafford. Yeah. Type JG for Jared Goff, MS for Matthew Stafford. Obviously, if it's in the, I'll say, four years or less, I'll go Stafford still. Yeah. But maybe if you're thinking, oh, I could have a guy for 10 years, maybe the answer's golf. But I still think the answer is Stafford because you just might want to go invest in a, in a younger quarterback after that. I think that's a good call. I'm, I'm going to go Stafford. JG here. for golf, MS for Matthew Stafford. Let us know what you guys think. While you're at it, we do have some face masks available at chatsports.com slash stay safe. Mm -hmm. You Rams fans. I know it's tough right now, but we do have all kinds of face coverings, solo packs, all the way up to four packs. And, Tom, a lot of these are on sale. That they are up to 75% off. Not all of them are at that heavily discounted, but go check out. See what they got for your favorite teams. They're covered for all 32 NFL teams out there. They are all available at chatsports.com slash stay safe. And don't worry, we will make sure that link gets in the comments and in the description just in case you are feeling lazy and you just want to click something and not try and type everything go. in, have a typo or whatever. Chatsports.com slash stay safe. All right, let's get into our number two team here for Jared Goff trade destinations, the New England Patriots. I, I am intrigued by this idea. Because if you're the Patriots, again, maybe it's not it, It's definitely not the best option out there. Mm -mm. But what if you trade for Jared Goff, you send a second? Yeah. I'm guessing on that trade value. Draft I, a receiver I, I in round one. Know, draft a receiver in round one or even trade down and still take a receiver in round one. Re reacquire some assets. Goff's better than what they have on their roster. Oh, no doubt. That's not – a really hot take because no. it's Cam Newton, Jarrett Stidham, and Brian Hoyer. <laughs> I'm unconvinced. It, I, I am – Worried that if the answer to your question is Jared Goff, you're, you're asking a bad question. But if it's a two-year trial, you can retain some cap space in case it fails. I actually don't see, hate it. See, if I'm going to do that, if I'm the Patriots, I'd rather just go get Garoppolo. Maybe you have to pay slightly yes. more, but yes. the contract is honestly more friendly. If, and you're familiar with him. If the Niners end up acquiring a quarterback, I am wholly convinced Garoppolo ends up in New England. Oh, no like, doubt about un undoubtedly Belichick convinced. never wanted to get rid of him. Undoubtedly convinced. Yeah, I'm with you. Will the Rams trade Jared Goff type Y for yes, type in for no? Definitely think they'll explore it, but mm -hmm. I just think there's too many challenges right now. Yeah. I'm going to type my in for no. And our top fit, and I love this one, the Washington football team who really, if they got average quarterback play, could probably win 10, 11 games next year. Yeah, and look, Alex Smith was an incredible story. Please don't get me wrong. Tyler, uh, Tyler Henneke was a, was a fun story in the playoffs as I well. Think, I think you've maybe found a backup there, yes. honestly. Uh, we've tried the Kyle Allen thing. We did it in Carolina, and he was pretty good to start, and then teams were like, okay, let's do this, and he just couldn't, he couldn't yeah. adjust, which is fine. He's a backup caliber too. Washington has the best quarterback depth in the NFL. They just don't have a starter. Yeah. They have three great backups. Now, maybe Jared Goff really isn't the guy, and I know that Goff is not well-loved by many in the NFL fandom, but he's better than Alex Smith. Oh, no. like, I, I'm sorry, he's a better player. Alex Smith, look, he deserves comeback player Agre of the year. Agreed. He wasn't good. No. He looked, I'm sorry. His leg broke in like 10 places. The fact that he took a snap again is a freaking miracle. The fact he walked. Give him the award. He can enjoy his life now. Like, so, I, I don't think he needs to play anymore. Hypothetical, a second for Jared Goff straight up. Who says no? I think that makes sense. I, I, do, do the Rams still say no? Because, like, well, what are we going to do at quarterback? Like, it's it's tricky for me in terms of what they end up doing. But You if throw Alex Smith back in the trade? Like, you throw here's an, a bet a, if you want a bridge guy. Kyle Allen or uh, maybe Kyle Allen. Here, I don't know. Like, it's <laughs> it's tricky. And that's why I'm unconvinced he ends up getting dealt. But from the Washington's perspective, it is an upgrade, and maybe they would at least consider it it's that. that. It's kind of that good combination of he's an upgrade and you're not having to give up that much for him. Mm. So it could make some sense for Washington. We'll see if it makes sense for the Rams. 